Uh, and an attack linked to ISIS planned right here in Metro Detroit. And that is what a Dearborn Heights man is accused of. And he's going to be fighting for his freedom today. Yes, he is. Local Force Priya Man has more on what has been happening with this man and also the fact that the FBI had been watching him for well over a year. That's right, Rhonda. The defendant has been under surveillance since last May. Khalil Abu Rayyan is accused of allegedly plotting to kill people at a Detroit church. There was no answer at the home of Khalil Abu Rayyan. This is a photo of the 22-year-old holding up one finger. The FBI claims this demonstrates part of his alleged support for ISIS. The feds have been watching Abu Rayyan since last May. The Dearborn Heights man came under surveillance after pro-ISIS Twitter posts, gun purchases, and his own words. Attorney Majid Mogni is not representing Abu Rayyan, but says the allegations are troubling. He's intent on... Uh, committing mass murder. I think that's terrifying. Mogni was reacting to the online conversations Abu Rayyan had with someone he didn't know was an undercover FBI agent. Abu Rayyan told that agent he had an AK-47 and quote, I tried to shoot up a church one day. It's one of the biggest ones in Detroit. I had it planned out. I bought a bunch of bullets. I practiced reloading and unloading. The complaint doesn't specify which Detroit church Abu Rayyan was allegedly planning to attack, only that it was close to his work and could seat six thousand members. The complaint quotes Abu Rayyan as saying, it's easy and a lot of people go there. Plus, people are not allowed to carry guns in church. Plus, it would make the news. Everybody would have heard. Honestly, I regret not doing it. If I can't do jihad in the Middle East, I would do my jihad over here. The complaint quotes Abu Rayyan as saying that he also armed himself with a large knife, allegedly saying, I would gladly behead people if I needed to. It's my dream to behead someone. And Abu Rayyan will appear in federal court today. We will stay on top of this developing story. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.